compared it to a hair-raising, out-of-tune symphony. Whether the sound of trains heading in and out of the subway makes you wince or you've gotten used to it, something pretty much every New Yorker can agree on is that it's loud. It's just screechy and uh, I can't stand it. I close my ears. It's really loud and... and Hurts your head a little bit sometimes, though, you know? Given that, the findings of a new study from the University of Washington and Columbia University Melman School of Public Health should be no surprise. Subways register the highest average noise levels among all forms of mass transit in the city. Some of the loudest noise levels recorded by researchers exceeded more than 100 decibels on some subway platforms, and they say being exposed to even as little as two minutes a day could do some damage to those who ride frequently. During the day, for a typical day, you should not exceed between 70 and 75 decibels across that 24 hours. Once you do, it accumulates time after time, year after year, and after a while, you will have hearing loss. While researchers clocked noise levels at more than 100 decibels on some subway lines, on average, they're at 80.4 decibels. But other forms of transit weren't far behind in what researchers dub the urban soundscape. Path trains gave off an average of 79.4 decibels. Elevated forms of transportation like the Roosevelt Island tram let on an average of 77 decibels. The lowest levels measured were on Metro North and the Long Island Railroad. The MTA has already responded to the study findings, saying the agency has long been working on noise reduction. This includes efforts to quiet track noise with welded rail fasteners and retrofitting stations with noise absorbing barriers. In addition to improvements in infrastructure, researchers say riders should think more seriously about taking hearing protection into their own hands. Even those little foam uh, throwaways that you can get at the pharmacy can help reduce it, three, four, five decibels maybe. If you use the kind of earmuffs that fit over your ears, they're kind of costly, but those can reduce as much as 20 or 30 decibels. A solution that might not only make for a quieter commute, but also might help to calm your nerves. Could be Drexel, New York One.